Recently, we discussed the definition of an adventure ride. Some people like to be fundamentalists when it comes to religion or politics. Others like to get fundamentalist about what is a real adventure ride. <laughs> or even worse, what is a real adventure bike? When these discussions get really boring, they narrow it down to how long must an adventure ride be. Under in our downstairs, remember, real men do adventure rides at least two days long. You must camp out, and it must be at least 95% dirt roads. Well, sorry, I've been breaking all the rules lately. If you watch our enduro channel, you probably know I fractured my spine on the dirt bike 19 months ago. It has healed up quite well, but it still aches after about three hours riding. So over the past year, my first rides on the DR650 were only 30 minutes long. And I'm only just starting to try some five hour rides recently. So most of the recent rides have just been to the closest dirt roads within an hour's drive from the city. Blinkers getting sluggish? Remember to replace the fluid regularly. I have been surprised at how enjoyable these rides are. I have used satellite imagery to find all the closest dirt roads and how to link them all together. The resulting GPS tracks are a mishmash of dirt and paved roads that don't particularly go anywhere but just loop back into the city. And there are plenty of great dirt roads out there where you feel as if you are in the middle of nowhere. The other guys have been enjoying these little rides too. So often there are family commitments or work demands, which mean we only have a few hours. And this has been a great way to get away from it all. <laughs> even if it was only for two hours. I admit I look forward to those multi-day rides again and camping in the middle of nowhere. And when the back problems settle down, I am keen to explore much more of the east coast of Australia again. But for the time being, these teeny weeny adventure rides are just fine. What about you guys? Have you worked out little adventure loops for when time is short? Or do you think it has to be a full day's ride to make it worthwhile?